Hi there, it's so Joy. Um, so today I had a um, birth control thing, a DIU put in, and um, I didn't have cramps, but I have a headache now, so just letting you know about that. Um, so my headache is back here. Um, it's my ear area, and the vein, like right up there. Yeah. Actually, doing that kind of helps relieve the pain for a little bit. I think it's because it's moving it and opening it up. But yeah. Um. But. Um. Lately, I've been getting a lot more in the. Um, my fiance is making sure I don't fall into like a state of despair and stagnation. And he's making sure I can get up and like still, you know, believe I can make it out of things. I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Yesterday, I'm kind of proud of this fact. Um, there's a can of peaches, and I opened it with butter knife. I'm wondering if I should make a video of that or not. <laughs> but, yeah. Um,. But, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, you, you can do that. It's possible. Like, I am weak. I'm very weak. Like, um, I just, sometimes I, like, I can't pick up a, a fork. I got the sickness one time where I was just, like, stuck laying down and, couldn't um get out of my bed for like a month and I, I couldn't even crawl to the kitchen but I had to sometimes so technically I could um but um I was just so tired I, I couldn't even lift silver I could I was like can I eat and it was scary because I know older um, people at the end of their life they are uh, so weak that they can't feed themselves they can't lift things up anymore and like they can't even move around in the bed by themselves and, uh, yeah. But, um, like, one thing my dad has helped me to realize is that sometimes I will think down to my very core that I can't do something. Like, I need to eat, and I tell myself, you know, I, I can't even get inside the can. But I have to look around to what's around me. Because the world, God didn't put nothing on the planet. Like, there's always something around me. And, you know, people don't necessarily care about it that much. There's some things that they do, and they're selling, but those are in stores um in the forest if I needed to um either learn about something or burn firewood um or I can even build something with sticks I could just pick up a stick and I have to judge whether or not it's dead or not or it 
it's um, strong enough for the job that I would like to do, but there, um, at least in Iowa, there's forests with a uh, diverse range of um, trees with a uh, diverse density in the sticks. Now, um, if you're in the desert, I know there's cactuses, but the problem that is numerous is one would think. Um, there's like a... Well, one thing, there is a sand. I'm like, what can you do with sand? You can draw on sand. You can draw letters. And, um... You know, if, if there's nothing else there, you could just dream about stuff and draw pictures of what it is, but, um, honestly, the only time there is, um, you can only build something if it rains and you have something to cut the, um, sand. I would also have to make the sand hard and then the water evaporates. The sand crumbles very easily. That's like one of God's laws is that when, when sand is hydrated just with water, not with anything else, it's just when I try to pick it up, it, it crumbles. Um, like to get it to stay there, it needs to beaten down a lot and uh, weathered rained on beaten down uh, heated cooled set um yeah I try to wonder like why certain things happened in the Bible, because, um, even if you're gonna go down the path that the Bible is just stories, like, um, how, how can I apply that to what's going on right now? Why would that happen in that situation? What, why would, um, water run out in the first place? Um, so, if you're a weatherman or a scientist, you try to figure out what's causing the water to, or the rain to not rain in a certain place, or the water to evaporate, or, um, if there's famine, what causes that famine? Is it due to something eating certain nutrients or um I don't know if there's certain nutrients that just something about it just disappears I don't know if that's a thing it usually it's something eating it or it, it's uh, attracted to something else so it just like um changes But, um, for water, like, the, the natural cycle is that the clouds come above, and they're carried in the wind, and, um, you know, the water vapor gathers together in groups, and those groups just fall down to the earth, and... You know, it makes a shape as it falls down, sort of, um, depending on how much there is. Like, um, the smaller it is, the more uniform the shape is. Um, and then it falls on the ground, and it spreads out. It faces the reality that it is suddenly not moving is suddenly not uh 
not that shape. It's suddenly the structure isn't built to stay in the shape it was. So it spreads out. And then some little, little specks of that water puddle just like scatter somewhere else. The Usually those ones are off by themselves and they have nothing to group to. So they um, evaporate into the air and go up and they, they travel somewhere else. They gather with the water vapor again. And they travel uh, to a different place, carried in the wind. Um, you know, and once it, you know that that water puddle, I, I, I think that it eventually groups with something and is able to get down to the earth and um, join with the rest of the water. And, uh, help a plant grow. Or, uh, something f fused together. Uh, eventually something can eat it. The reality is when something's eaten it, it dies. It's broken apart. It dies when it breaks apart. So, like, it's divided. It dies. Um. But. It's usually repurposed into something else. Um, either that or it festers in the ground and grows old and like, um, it disintegrates. Some things are toxic. Some things, uh, can kill you. Um, and bad groups and agents that go out and eat other things without any good reason to eat those things or um, nothing's telling them to stop or um, or God is telling that it to um, continue um Sometimes it could be doing that because um, a human needs to, you know, tell it to stop. Or um, figure out why it's doing that. Because I think bad things always happen so a human can figure out why it's happening. Um... Because cause it's applicable, applicable, applicable to someone's life. Because, um, you know, people get sad. And we need, um, we need to know why. If we don't want to know why, we go crazy. And we constantly, it's in our nature to search for the answer. And so, we, we try to cry out and ask Ethan. We usually ask the wrong thing to help us get out of that, but God is the one who put us there, so that's why it's best to call out to God in that situation. And honestly, do you ever not, are you ever not in that situation? I shouldn't say you, I should say us. Um, yeah, the Bible says in everything, give thanks for this is the will of the Lord. And honestly, there's, you know, people think they go crazy for being happy about something that really should be sad. 
And the thing is, like, we're supposed to realize it's sad and know the truth about it and realize that it is, in fact, hurtful, damaging. And we are made to help others on this earth. So I don't even know why sometimes, but I feel what somebody else is feeling. Even if I've never known what they're in, I suddenly, God will be like, I'm going to put you through this because this person going through this. And if you guys are going to have a real conversation, you need to know the other side. Um, yeah, cause, cause even if it, you're just a pie to, um, fighting, um, if you're fighting someone and you don't know how to anticipate what the other person, what action they're going to do, you're going to be fighting blind. You're not going to know, um, why they're. swinging in a certain direction you're not going to know like what direction they're going to be swinging from you don't know how to block them if you don't know what direction they're swinging from um you don't like you don't know the person enough to anticipate what option they're likely to choose next or um Sometimes it's just like a pattern, a behavior that that other person um, always falls back to. Because we're very habitual and we fall back on a pattern of things because it's familiar to us. It feels good. So we do that. So if I'm going to anticipate somebody else, I memorize pattern that they use. So it really helps if you are creative, like if you're going to win to be creative and come up with a different pattern, um, or realize what you're doing and then realize what they're doing. And if they're copying your pattern, um, then change it. 